What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome back to A Lot of Hats Podcast. I am your co-host, Christina Faith, and this is... A Brilliant Dummy. A Brilliant Dummy. <laughs> and we are your hosts at A Lot of Hats Podcast, and this is our second season, season, season two. two. And we are now on uh, multiple platforms. You can holler at us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Go ahead, click and subscribe right now. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about... Uh, everything the update uh, on a lot of hats listeners what's new with christina and t era yes, and yes. the new topics can, we can look forward to this season so all right normally i normally talk first i think today we need to know about miss bi coastal today miss tiara oh, wow. this is a surprise um, huh? <laughs> that was a surprise oh, you thought you were gonna we can go back yeah. and forth but no you yeah. go first because i'm really <laughs> I excited i always write her first in I the know. notes she always so puts like... me right first on the notes and that's not happening today because before she left for probably like half of COVID, <laughs> Tierra was like, I just want to do an art installation. I just want to do a light installation. I want to do a light installation. And she kept saying it over and over and over and over. And so she was able to do what? Um, light installation. So tell us about your light installation. <laughs> I, well, I would like to know the process because I think a lot of people sometimes just see like your stuff somewhere Mm -hmm. your art somewhere and they don't know what you go through to get it there mm -hmm. um and what was really cool she was in she's in sweet green in philadelphia like you can go cop her art in sweet green it was ridiculous <laughs> and so how does that happen like tell us about this installation um so in what like end of january um a friend of mine sent it to me probably like a week before the proposals and stuff was due for it and um, it was a proposal that I had actually already done and tried to, like, shop many times and okay. was, like, getting denied for, like, grants and get? stuff. Uh, for that one, probably, like, five. So oh, wow. I had it for, like, a good year or two. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, he sent me one for – it was for Black History Month in uh, downtown Santa Monica, so they wanted to pick artists to do, you know, Black History Month installation. So I, like, dialed it up in the day and kind of revamped it a bit to what they needed and submitted it. And so probably, like, a week or two went by before they, like, you know, responded back. And I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, telling Chris, like, I might get this installation. I, I might know. be gone. We got to shoot one more time. <laughs> right. And, um... Did we get the shoot? I can't remember. We didn't. We I didn't. had to literally Which is why you guys like have week. not had a podcast. Yeah, it's not so me. It's not I've been me. Gone. So, yeah, literally within, like, a three-week span, I was, like, here, we're doing stuff, and I had to, like, jump on the plane and mm -hmm. go. And so I originally thought I was just going to go and, like, set everything up and then come back home so we could finish taping. Mm -hmm. And I just, <laughs> I was, my mood she never came went back, too guys. high. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to leave this song. She was, y'all, uh, if y'all follow a brilliant dummy months. online, <laughs> y'all would have been pissed like I was. Because she was living her absolute best life. I'm like, yeah, this is how you're you going to flex on us. This, the rest of us have not been anywhere in a I year. And this is how you feel. in the park. She was chilling. He was chilling everywhere. Yeah, I was. I really was. You went to so. Joshua's Tree. I did. I, yeah, after I finished, like, installing everything, I went out there for a few days and just kind of decompressed. And So what's the name of the installation? Tell me, it tell us, like, so, about the actual um, installation. And we're so going to show was, some pictures and stuff. Yeah, oh, that'll be awesome. So it was called Shades of Us Installation. So Shades really, of Us. Who is us? Us, us black folk. Black, um, black. Brown and so Shades of Us is, is black people and... It really just sig signified um, us being called right color, mm. and I'm like, yeah, we're every color. We're mm. red, we're blues, we're we're j jazz and purples and royals. So mm. we are a colored people, mm. and so I really just like compiled man over the last like five years of my photography and had it showcasing um, on, like, a screen. So, originally, I thought we were getting, like, the entire, like, storefront. That's what I thought, too. I was a little upset. Yeah, because there were storefronts along the promenade yeah. that a lot of stores were just empty. So, I thought we were getting the whole store. So, I'm like, oh, I got a budget. I'm going out. And then, like, <laughs> I got there, and they're like, yeah, we're just doing, like, the window because uh, of COVID. We can't have people, people go in. in and out. So, I'm like, all right. So, I did have to, like, scale down um, my original, like, proposal. Mm -hmm. But it worked out well. I had, like, these... Uh, Lamp shades that were glowing, um, different shades of color. Um, and yeah, I had the images on the screen. And so a few times, well, twice with the installation lasted about two months. 
Um, the monitors had one out one time, so I was like, oh, man. So I was, yeah, I was showing somebody. I wanted to go show. Some friends came in town, and I wanted to show them, and the monitors are off. So I'm like, oh, man. So I called the project manager, and she came down, and we turned them on. And then when you and Alan came out, which yeah. was like the last it day. It was literally was the last day. Down, like, they went out again. So I was like, well, at least y'all saw the, you know, and lights. No, it was dope. But it was dope. It's, um, you know, trial and error. I'm glad that, um, you know, I got it up. I definitely, <laughs> something we touched on before of, like, delegating and getting help. So I did yes. uh, hire Tell me about, a team you to did. put up. You yeah, did. I went on, um, what is it? I ended up going on TaskRabbit. How was that for you? Because, you know. It was good. I actually ended up finding another guy that was from Philly. Um, shout out to James if That's he's dope. listening. Um, Philly yeah, he is actually everywhere. Been, he was. Philly folk be everywhere. Because we were, after I like uh, reached out to him and then we called to kind of explain because mm-hmm. he helped me set up the monitors and stuff. And he kept saying John on the phone. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, like, everybody says it now, so I didn't know. So he was like, oh, where are you where are you at? Where you stay? So I'm telling him what part of L.A. I'm at. He was like, oh, no, I thought you was back from the crib. I saw your number. From the crib? It was 267. So did I'm he like, really oh, say you back are? from the crib? Yeah, he did say from the crib. He's so Philly. So I'm like, oh, you are from Philly. I heard you say John. And I, he was like, yeah. So we're, like, asking what part of the city. He was, like, from Southwest. And he's okay. like, oh, what part? I'm like, oh, I'm from, like, Mount Airy. He's like, yeah, I could tell because you're polite. Like, your voice and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I guess there's a, I don't know. No, some people do that. It's a difference between yeah. like North Philly, South Philly girls, and up. Yes, every yeah. and it, it's interesting because even the even the vernacular is different. Like people's twang is different. Mm, okay, one place is a little bit more prom. Like South Philly almost feels like North Jersey. Okay. in the way that they speak, um, mm. depending on where they're from. Uh, West Philly is girls sound so different in different. West Philly okay. than they do in North Philly. It's really interesting. I'm like, oh, you from North? Oh no, you're in West North, Philly, John. Yeah, I cannot tell the difference. Really? I don't know. Well, you don't. Re- have you no. don't really talk with a with a Philly twang completely. Yeah, I don't know where I'm from. Yeah, I don't. yeah. I'm just like I don't know what you know. So, but that worked out good. Um, yeah, I was so glad. So this was like usually I do projects like this, especially away. Mm-hmm. I'm typically like by myself, right? I'm doing this stuff and then I'm back. And so although I have like the moral support of friends and families, I typically don't get to share these things with them like physically. So to have like you guys come out. Because they're normally in yeah, California. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like two of my other girlfriends from Philly came uh-huh. out. Like literally I had like three weeks in a row like friends from Philly came out. So that was really special to me to like share yeah. that moment with them in person and spend time with them. So yeah, it was. It was That's really dope. Cool. That's dope. Yeah. So what are did you? I think you had some quotes up there on your Shades of Us. Am I right or wrong? Where, like, were there any quotes or anything like that, or it was just the images? No, nah, it was just the images. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think I put quotes. I can't even remember. I feel like you had else. something on. She she made this amazing um, design oh, yeah, the, to display the banner, the ba- the banner that what she made. I it was say? really dope. So how did you man like how did you manage your time and energy because it was a lot going on when you left because you left and you went right into it. Yeah. So I before I even left, I was already like ordering stuff, having. Um, you know, all the props and stuff shipped out there. Um, And then some of the stands I needed, like, came late. Yeah. So the, what, it was supposed to go up, like, February 5th, and I had some stuff that didn't come till the following week. So half of it was, like, up one week, and then I finished it. And I had to just be like, hey, it is what it is, Mm -hmm. you know, get what what I can. But, yeah, as soon as I got there, I just, like, hit the ground running, getting all the materials I needed, uh, running back, trying to find the right monitors to get and all of that. So it was a little overwhelming. And then I'm, you know, just like I said, learning like, yeah, I need like a team. And so, cause typically I'm trying to do everything by myself. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. To the best of my ability. Well, you can, it's just exhausting. Yeah, but it's, it's exhausting. So yeah, that's when I like reached out with the Task rabbit stuff. And I was so proud help, of you. You was uh, like, I got a task that. rabbit. Yeah, like I had other friends out there that like came and helped me set up. And, and your brother, who is off. like your personal yeah, assistant. Yeah, he came. Yeah, well, he came after. <laughs> Afterwards, it was up. so he, he helped me break down. Break down. Yeah, break down. So we did go and break everything down, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, I definitely just learned, like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start needing to hire, like, a personal assistant. Just in general. Because then after, in between, while the 
installation was up, I started filming um, episodes of Chillin', Chillin Circuit. Circuit. Let so everybody then, know what Chillin' Circuit is. If they so have not watched yet, where can they watch that it? That is um, a music series I started. It's kind of like Tiny Small Dust type of situation. Um, so I do the set design for that. Part of that set design was actually incorporated in Shades of Us. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I found a studio out there in L.A. And I started, like, you know, filming artists out there to, to do. So I was like... Yeah, just in that wheel and yeah. just going once I got out there. my Creatively, I definitely felt like just more alive and, you know, inspired again. Mm -hmm. And so while I had that energy, I was like, you know, right. let's do it. So And getting help on that, too, trying to set, uh, you know, breaking stuff. And that's a lot. And so I'm just like, yeah, I really need um, to, to build a team. Somebody yeah. actually did reach out to me. Of like shadowing and and interning, and I just responded like last week. That was like three months ago. Sorry to whoever. Yeah, we should that actually was. do an episode on <laughs> interns and shadowing and stuff like that. Yeah, I think over the years, I've, I need it. I've gained a lot of knowledge on it and mm -hmm. kind of like what to look for. Because mm -hmm. I was talking to one of my friends about that, and um, she's she's in, she does music. And so I think for her, she was like, yeah, I normally just get people who just kind of like want to just be around me mm. because of her status. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a way to kind of like weed out what people actually want in the interview process mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, just kind of like taking people just because they see they, what yeah. you're able to do. That's um, true. Because I think now, I think generally my interns generally turn into family members in a sense. Right. Um, or I can tell probably within like the first couple, like the first month. Right. Like, how long they'll be around. Be, um, okay. So, like, I had three interns. One is now a writer's assistant, which is really cool. She's mm. in our writer's room. Wow. And then the other two just signed on for the summer. Okay. Um, and so now we do a whole nother cycle of getting more. And so I've just learned how to use people in different ways. Some people really just want to do the hands-on stuff. Right. But some people just want to, they want to do social media stuff. They want right. to do the research. Right. They want to learn kind of, like, how to work inside of a business and right. get that, that experience. Right. So it's really just figuring out, like, what people want. To do, yeah, that's good. And that's another thing, too, of just, like, identifying So if you, listen, I I'm a, matter of fact, I'll put the link to apply for an internship at Creative Thought Media. Because <laughs> right. we're about, we're actually in our, link in our round. Yeah. That's just awesome. Yeah, you have a, a great team. You always have. Well, they're not interns. Around. They started out as that. And they're amazing. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. amazing. Crew. Shout they're out. great. Shout out to the, our crew. So, um... So yeah, what have you oh, been man. up to, Miss <laughs> Feature like, Film? I feel like oh man, okay. So Love You Right and R&B <laughs> Musical is now available. Yes. Um, I think on our last podcast we talked about it coming out, so it came out February 9th. Yeah. Um, we did an online screening on the twelfth. Um, man, it was such a different experience. <laughs> um, COVID, COVID, COVID. I think. I've, I've wrestled and I'm probably still wrestling kind of with, you know, having a premiere of film during COVID right, yeah, and, you know, theaters and stuff not really being open. If they are, you kind of don't want people to come around because I don't want people to like, I, you know, I, we could get a couple theaters and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still like, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to look at kind of like what it would look like this summer to do some, uh, Driver, driving, drive through okay, type yeah, joints. Yeah. And so, but the, the cost of that, because everybody has to do it, like it was like $5,000 just to wow, show it once one. or twice. Oh, wow. Um, and who's doing that? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Go in the backyard and get we it. Put, we brought it out the 9th and the 12th. It was um, the 9th, I think, I feel like the 9th, a lot of people downloaded it and watched it and stuff like mm -hmm. that. What was really cool about it is just the response from people, because mm -hmm. I don't think people thought it was going to be good. Like, mm, like really? Yeah. Okay. I, people have all, even people who have seen our other stuff uh -huh. have been surprised how good it was. Okay. It's really, really interesting, wow. like, just to see, because I think also it's it's, indie films are generally not. They either move very slow mm -hmm. or they're not good, right? Okay. Most indie films are very yeah, they slow. Are slow. Right? <laughs> right. And we went the exact opposite. Okay. And we went 
yeah. fast. Like I watch it now and I'm just like extremely excited about mm -hmm. the cuts mm -hmm. and the moving through scenes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. We got bootlegged on our first day out. <laughs> I saw this. First, first like, day out, y'all. This thing. In other countries. They made a cover and everything. They made, a, they made cover <laughs> art. They made their own Facebook. <laughs> it was on like four what? or five sites. It was on YouTube. And these are different bootleggers. Oh, wow. On the first Girl? day. First Catch of all, eyes. I need to know how they're get. I, I, first of all, I need to know how they're getting yeah, the, the files. But that's a whole other thing. I contacted dis the distribution oh, company. Wow. They're like, look, we can do something about YouTube. The rest of them we can't do anything about. I was oh, like, forget wow. it. Then, then we got bombed on IMDb. So I randomly like looked at our IMDb one day. I was like, okay, love you right and R&B musical. And it was like 2.0. And I was like, how how in the world did we get a 2.0? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's ratings. That's ratings. As far as overall movie. Overall okay. movie, right? Now, what scale does it go up 1 to, to 10. Oh, wow. Okay. And I was like, oh, a 2.0? Like, how? And so we discovered that we were, we were photobombed. We were, um, it's called um, uh, review bomb. So we got review bombed. And so what? I'm texting everybody. Can everybody please go on here? And can you please just review... Can you yeah. review this? And so they went on, they reviewed, and so it's more balanced as to where it's at. The the it's okay. on yeah. And so So do hackers do this or what how do you No, so review bombing tends to happen for black audiences, right? White people, oh. I assume people of no color mm -hmm. go on and they bomb it. Like there was a couple uh, hmm. uh there was a movie by David Oyelowo that they did that to them like the day it came out. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of black movies will get bombed with like zero on one ratings the first day out wow. from like other countries and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I don't even understand how y'all even knew about my little baby <laughs> film. Like right. the little baby. <laughs> right. Um, wow. So that was a really interesting, hmm. interesting, you know, we didn't have the energy of a premiere, right? Which was like heartbreaking, to be very honest. Yeah, like yeah. it was like ugh, it's cool, it's out, but dang, yeah. I'm sitting in the living room. My brother, his friend, my husband Ashley and uh, Malaya, and I'm like, this is cool, but this is not <laughs> a yeah, premiere. This is not how it. you imagine your first movie right, to come out. Right, right. But it was either that or we wait until 2022. And who got okay. time to be waiting until 2022 for something right. to come out? Yeah, um, next. and so yeah, I think that was. The feelings of that were, oh my gosh, this actually happened. This is something that I have wanted for over 10 years. Like, this mm -hmm. is work. Like, we did it. Mm -hmm. We did it. It's actually good. I like it. I still like it, mm -hmm. right? It's a very great movie. I cried at the end because yeah. I was just like, I was holding it. I'm left. I'm texting you like, no, they didn't. They need to fight. If somebody don't fight, so thank you. Well, I don't want to spoil it. So still go watch it. But yeah, I was like... Thank you I for because you, you know how some movies it's like it should be a fight after this and it's not and they like forgive each other but you you know you played you it in reality I am but well, if we wanted it to feel good. like a reality show I did show. cry at the end yeah, yeah. I definitely did oh, cry at cried. the end it was great and it's yeah I was just I was chilling I went and got my little snacks and I'm like All I know right, you watch you know. it at home with everybody else yeah yeah so that was cool then we had the the soundtrack came out the score came out yes. um, the song All Over Me did really Beautiful. well okay um and so I. The, what, the way that I have kind of like placed it in my heart is that this is a great accomplishment. We did something really great. Right. Regardless of who sees it, how many people see it, right. we did it. Yeah. Like, we did it. Yeah. Um, that's number one. Number two is also, I've just kind of been with this particular project, I think it's a slow burner, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's something that will, it's almost like Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood was not an instant success, right? Yeah, it's something that yeah. black the black community caught on to later. Yes. And so you only need that, like one or two right people to share it for people to start watching right, it. Right. Um, it was really cool. Like, Indy Irie shared it. Yes. Nikki Gilbert shared it. And a whole bunch of other people shared it. And so that was really cool. Uh, Estelle shared it. Estelle Darling mm -hmm. shared the song awesome. on the soundtrack. And so it was really cool to, to kind of like, and quote unquote, be validated in yeah, that. Yeah. I did like 25 or 30 press interviews. Girl, you was on them joints. I'm, I'm not like... done. We about to start back up. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you got a podcast, <laughs> if you, whatever you got, we can be there. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, that was. on them press junkets. That, like, well, was it was number one. I set them all up myself, mm -hmm. right? Um, we well, my my intern slid in slid in them emails, mm -hmm. and that was cool. It was it was a lot of energy though, mm -hmm. like consistently talking about it, 
And I think like the first two weeks, I felt like from the release till like two weeks later, and I knew this would happen. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was in a time warp mm -hmm. because you're kind of like, I, I, you go do your regular job and you know you got to do these press junkets. Right. I still got to teach. I still have to do this right. stuff. I still have to email people. I'm still trying to get the movie out. We're still sharing it. Interns are posting three, four times a day. Right. And so, and then you still, even though I don't do a lot of it, I still have to tell people what to do right. and, and kind of like direct them. And so that was a lot. Yeah. Them press junkets. Mm -hmm. press, I was thankful that it was home. Okay. And so right. I, yeah, I had a little yeah. setup. Right. I, I made, you know, I got a little right. area. Then I was she like, was iPad. Like changing the hat combo. <laughs> I'm taking like, a hat, got changing got the combo. Yeah, it was just like, all right, we're just going to throw this on. My husband's like, what you doing? I got another interview. <laughs> right. Um, and so that was, that was it was crazy. Okay. Um, I think it was around that time I was talking to my therapist. And I was like, I have to go somewhere. I have to go somewhere. I have to, I, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Like, that's how you I felt. You kept calling me like, so how is it? I mean, people got their mask and stuff. And I'm like, girl, if you don't just get on a plane to get out here. Like, he was like, all right, I'll be there next week. And then I looked up the flights. I was like, I don't care if no one right. goes. I'm leaving. Right. And so uh, Alan was like, all right, I'll yeah, go. It's your birthday. Yeah. And then it was my birthday. Yes, and then yes. I'm dealing with the loss of my mother. So all yeah. the things that are first, yeah. anything first, yeah. it's, it's crazy. It's Things that we didn't even really care about, but right. it, because it's the first, right. it's almost like grief. Grief knows when to come in, regardless of when it is. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, yeah, we went to LA. We really enjoyed ourselves in LA. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay, <laughs> so we went to Joshua's Tree. So let me tell you, she was my, she was our, uh, uh, our um, travel, our travel, agent. our booking <laughs> yeah, agent, I right? Like... Because I was looking at the places she was going. I was like, oh, so how right. was Joshua's Tree? <laughs> Where did y'all stay? That looks yes. really nice. Yeah, look, I'm out here. Up the I ain't got to lust after it. I can look and see how much it costs. <laughs> and so uh, we stayed at the really nice place in Joshua's Tree. Yes. I think the only thing that we would change this next time would be um, we would probably go to the city first, go to Joshua's Tree, or only stay in the city for like one or two nights and okay. spend most of the time in, in Joshua's jo Tree. Yeah, yeah. And we will never go to Joshua's Tree in March ever again. Oh uh, yeah, it's cold. cold. It's cold, y'all. Cold. Yeah, people definitely Cali think like Cali is not LA as is always no, hot. It's not. no. And I was like, it's warmer in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I come in, in March? Some regard, yeah, Never again. Because I think the other times I came were in like January when it's hot. Okay. It was really interesting. It's kind of hotter in January. Yeah, late December, early January is still kind of hot, but then yeah, it, it does. Even that February, gets March, cold. and yeah, you like, cold, what's going right. on? I was like, I need a coat. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so we went to Joshua's Tree. That was really dope. And then we decided to come back and stay in um, in Inglewood. Cause, okay. Because... Now, because she stayed in Inglewood and she said the zip code was OK. It, it was. It's close to Baldwin Hills, which is like the black Beverly Hills. So where I stay and I checked the zip code, but you said the house and stuff was nice, but it was just the residence. I didn't, yes. So we that, arrived. So you tell them. So, about we, your, so her her Airbnb, Airbnb was beautiful. <laughs> was I was like, OK, was I see you. Shui. It was feng shui. Yeah. Uh, I was like, OK, that one wasn't available. So I found another one. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The pictures, was, yeah, it was the pictures nice. were accurate. It was nice. Um, family, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you are new here, uh, I was involved in an Airbnb yeah. uh, home invasion in August, and so when I go anywhere, even at home, I'm doing certain things. What ha happened was we arrived at the Airbnb. I was just telling this to my therapist. This is the first time I've talked to her since I've been back. Oh, God. And I was like, okay, so we arrived there. Uh, we couldn't find the house because the numbers were weird. It was like 6, 6, 6 12, and then 6, 18. So there was no oh, numbers yeah, in between. Right. Uh, yeah. And that was weird. That's like, okay. Is yeah, that a Cali thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Because I was like, what is this? Or a house will be in the back or something, and you can't see it. So then it's like, Yeah, so what? I think they were counting all the they, – so, for example – if this property was in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, they would just count the one property and it'd be mm -hmm. like A, B, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this property, in this property, um, in this property, it was like 6, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, right? Mm -hmm. All in the same. Mm -hmm. And so the crazy thing was that when we arrived there, 
I made a U-turn a couple times. I was like, sir, is this this property? Because we couldn't figure it out. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, that's it. All right. So we look. So when we driving down the street, right, it was almost like you're in Philly. It was, oh, this is a nice area. This is a nice area. This is a nice area. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Bars on the windows. Okay, this mm-hmm. is different. And so Cali and Philly different. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you don't know where you at in Cali. You don't know what's going on. Right. right? In Philly, you can look around. You'll be like, yeah, no, this ain't safe. And mm-hmm. Cali, you can't do that. Right. And so it's palm trees. Like. <laughs> yes, it's, it's palm trees, but it's good. <laughs> so we get to the location. There's a gate, and the you know they sent us a little like uh, map. You park here. Your mm-hmm. unit is here. So Alan gets out. He opens the gate. The gate is riggedy, and they come. And so we pull. I pull into the. I pull into the into the gate, the driveway. Um, I get out, but it's like one of the places like. I'm not taking uh, like I'm, I'm my Louis bag is going in my book bag before I get right, out the car yeah, type thing. Yeah. Like that's what I'm thinking, right? right? Why you pulled up? Yeah, I'm pulling <laughs> up like, eh. and so I go in the back to the unit and I'm trying to use the code. It's the wrong unit. A guy opens the door, looks like a Rasta, young Rasta. Weed smoke just goes. <laughs> You see all the alcohol on, on his, on his <laughs> right. in his living room area, his Airbnb. It was like, then, then you see this beautiful patio area, and then a pool. So, but before we even get there, two a guy and a girl come up while we're getting out the car. And when we get out the car, they looking at Alan weird, Alan looking at them weird, and I see him. I'm like, okay, what's up? What's going on? Yeah. And so, long story short, they from Philly. Right, he did it's six that. of them. The boy <laughs> is jumping in the pool in his drawers. They telling us about all the dispensaries. We go inside the Air- Airbnb. Um, the 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 window in the Airbnb in the bathroom, which a whole person can fit through. Yeah, the lock is completely broken off. Yeah. Um, Alan sits. Alan is looking at the looking at the doors. He's like, that door is glass, and that door is glass. Yeah, no. Mm. And so he's like, I don't care what you think. When I leave here, whenever we go anywhere, mm. I am where I am taking all of my stuff. And I was like, yeah, no, this is not <laughs> this it. Is not, yeah. So I contact them and I'm like, hey, can we move? Da, 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 da. They acting like ain't nothing wrong. He's like, oh, I'll bring a pole by. Yeah, no, I don't feel safe. Mm-hmm. And so because of my ten of right, my, my do, 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 yeah. do, if I don't feel safe, how am I going to sleep? This right. is not going to be restful. Right. So I found another place. It was really nice. This place was was more our speed. Okay. Um, yeah. It was it was like a hotel. It was a, it's like a, a residential but the Airbnb, the okay, unit type okay. thing. And so that was cool. But I was like, I did not come all the way to California to be right. around <laughs> North Philly. And it was from North. North, North. And so, um, yeah, it was crazy. But it was a really good trip. Um, yeah. Flying was crazy. The lines were insane. Still. I have never been to an airport with so many people in it. Oh, at LAX. No. Oh, okay. In Philly, in Philly. and then oh, yeah, LAX. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. The line was wrapped yeah. around, you know, the, the uh, carousel walk, John? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was all the way down yeah. there. And there was no six feet apart. People like People are traveling. Over. People are yeah. out here. Um, and so what I learned from, like, Love You Right is we got to make something. We got to get an A or P list star. Or mm-hmm. Jesus got to do something. Like, that's so important. It doesn't matter. It, everything is based off of who's in it, yeah, or who or who's a big name executive producer, yeah. which really sucks because anyway. Yeah. But then I was looking at like uh, this documentary <laughs> Kid Ninety, which is really good uh-huh. on Hulu, and um, Punky Brewster okay. is her life when she was younger. She would just videotape everything, oh, wow. and so. But the interesting thing, what we already know, but it's crazy to see, mm-hmm. is that all of those stars are all friends. It's it's just yeah, it's just yeah. circles and yeah. pockets of the same people, right. and so right. it's almost like y- you have to have you have to have an entry pass, right? Mm-hmm. You got to have an agent or somebody to be an entry, mm-hmm. and so it, it was really interesting to see that, um, and just realize like you know you can make something really cool, but it has to be attached to something that already someone or something that already exists, yeah. um, something that society. Is, can say it's easily marketable, easily shared. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it's a great movie. We enjoyed it. Uh, we still out here. We still going to be promoting it. Yeah. It's currently available on any place that you can rent or purchase except for Comcast. Um, Verizon, Amazon, uh, Voodoo, Fandango, all of those places. Amazon, awesome. you can purchase the DVD. Barnes & Nobles has a DVD. Everybody got hey, it except for Comcast. Yes. I got my um, copy. I know. I, I, was like, I got to buy a DVD player. 
<laughs> Why did you ask for a DVD? <laughs> I, guess I wanted a collectible. Oh gosh, it worth, it's gonna be worth something. The, I gotta get not the, the DVD. DVDs, sis. Yeah, DVDs might come back. You never know. Okay, okay. <laughs> but um, so, so yeah. Okay, so like we we are titling this episode a lot of hats. Yes. Um, and and kind of weaving this back in is all the different hats that we do carry, yes. right? So one minute we're podcasters, next minute we're installation artists and film, you know, all these things. Mm-hmm. And so it's just like, yeah, I guess explaining to people, like, how do you juggle all those different things, right? And so <laughs> I know for me, like like I said, I'm learning, I'm learning my limitations. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I, and I think you need to know your limits. You or have you'll to. just extend and think like oh yeah i could do this and shoot for the moon but i'm like okay t because it's so much going on right now and in some ways i've set my limits where it's like okay i can only work on like two things maybe at the same time Mm -hmm. no more than two projects at a time um but I like break my limits too, and I'm like hey, over here and over there. Yeah. And so now, like, I'm doing better with like actually looking at my calendar schedule mm-hmm. <laughs> and just like blocking off days for certain things where it's like, okay, I'm just gonna work on this today, you know? Because sometimes I'm like an hour here, two hours there, you know? And then just one thing I noticed too is that because I'm typically working just by myself or in like these separate pockets, it's mm-hmm. like, when I stop doing something, that whole thing stops, right? Got you. Yep. And so I'm like, I'm getting at a point where it's like, okay, even if I How can't physically be there, I need stuff to keep going. Like the the Bible project I'm doing. You know, like I can have people recording those. I don't have to be there mm-hmm. for that. You know what you I mean? You buy a kit, send it to them with a prepackaged label, yeah, and they can send it back. And so I'm like trying to get that together. And that's why I said I'm like really intentional of just like yeah, adding these teams, being more, uh, you know, trusting. I, too, have started therapy since last Praise time Praise the one true living God. Talk. So that's been a Ain't lot of t- discovery, which we'll get into um, this season. So, yeah, I'm just, like, learning my limits, learning what what I really need, though. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just important to kind of, you know, be self-aware so that you can be um, just efficient, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because it, it, it can get overwhelming wearing a lot yeah. of hats. I, um, I don't know how... <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the most though. You like working. You're I like am your wife. You're like how? I am. I'm learning that I'm learning to build in more breaks. I think COVID really. So last summer was supposed to be my rest summer, mm-hmm. which turned into something else because of my mother. And then so what I'm learning is I am the type of person I need to go somewhere every two months. Mm. And that's something that I have not given myself the ability to do. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I have to build in more breaks. That's something that I really have been being more mindful of. Mm-hmm. And so I went somewhere in March, about to go somewhere in May. Um, okay. And so, yeah, building in more breaks this summer is um, is a filming summer because you got mm-hmm. to have some more content. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out, like, how to do it where it's more profitable for us. Okay. Not financially, but, you know, something that spreads more. Yeah. And so I did something that I never do. I put out a call for for scripts on uh yes, I saw on Twitter. That. I got I like four. Anybody want to read some scripts? I <laughs> got like four. Read them. You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I did not expect like right. this many retweets and this many follows. I was like, okay. Right. I put out a finished project and I don't get much retweets and yeah. follows, but I put out a call for something. Yeah. And so, but I think I got some really interesting ones. Okay. And so I'm gonna do two shorts. I mean, I plan on we plan on doing. Like, we normally would do, like, a whole series or a whole feature in the mm-hmm. summer. Mm-hmm. And so I want to do two shorts and a documentary. Okay. And so I, I finally got the idea for the documentary. It keeps coming up in my head and keeps okay. coming up. And so I... You want to do all that this summer? Yeah, two we'll do short? it. Oh, wow. Yes. So a, a short is a weekend. Okay, yeah, shorts are A short. documentary yeah, is... Yeah, how long is with that documentary? Well, it depends on how many people we want to follow. And okay. so one of the ways that we get so much done is we batch it. And so mm-hmm. if we do... We'll try to do like four or five interviews in the same day and just bring them to the same location. Okay. As opposed to going everywhere oh, to everyone. Okay. And then one day, you know, we'll say, "Hey, can we come get some B roll and that kind of stuff?" Okay. And so cool. I think I think a lot of the misconception is like we're not filming twenty one days straight or mm-hmm. nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I'll say, "Hey, is everybody available this weekend? Cool. We're gonna film this. We're gonna shoot that. And then everything we're trying to do is COVID friendly. Mm-hmm. Like we're trying to be as mm-hmm. COVID friendly as possible. Right. And so. 
I think we really the documentary is going to be. It's, I'm going to tell you about it offline. It's, all right, I, all right. I, I gotta I, I'm really excited about it because <laughs> I, yep, I got to tell you about it offline. Just okay. know it's black and creatives and entrepreneurs put Yay. together. And so, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that because I want to ask some questions <laughs> to some uh-uh, people. Uh-uh. I got questions, y'all. Because I'm, you know, we, we've been, we've been scooping for a while. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so I think just, you know, the school will be on summer break. And I'm excited about that because we're actually going to take a summer break this year. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every board meeting, I'm like, we're, we're hardly working this summer, right. just FYI. It's been a long four summers. We need a break. Um, so we've been working on all the things that we know we would need to come back in. Okay. So besides, like, talking and sharing with different churches and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. I'm not yeah, doing much. Yeah, y'all been killing it, too. With like, you know, you've been filming for your church. You did your Easter. Y'all did. I did. Amazing. We that did. We did. Did you like that? I did. I, I like this. The well, Silent they Saturday. Had color, so oh, which like, you mean? Yeah. I like that. Yes. The, the Good Friday for <laughs> Epiphany had colors and yeah. Silent Saturday was outside. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. Um, I'm really just... I'm really concerned for us as far as portfolio work. Everything for us mm-hmm. right now is just portfolio work. Mm-hmm. What do we want to put in our portfolio? What do we want to put in our reel? And just stacking that stuff a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, just because for so long, we had focused on like one main mm-hmm. project. Yeah. And so we didn't, you know, we would work for other people, but it wouldn't be necessarily something we want to put in our portfolio. Yeah. And so, um, and we're trying to figure out also how to like make ourselves more profitable so that we can get people out of their jobs. So it's, it's been okay. a, yeah, yeah. we've been kind of like, well, what can we do yeah, here to add, um, to add on? And so hopefully I don't have to <laughs> work for the school <laughs> too, too much longer. <laughs> too much longer. Um, but I am trying to figure out also in the school, and I have been talking about it, like how to potentially get Kai to teach some more. Okay. Like, not well, a lot, Kai. So. <laughs> um, like, Kai, like. <laughs> she painted um, off, like, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> just to, like, supplement some of my teaching okay. so I don't yeah, have to yeah. teach so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I think I was like, oh, I never thought about that. Like, I can teach, like, six months, and she could take, like, you know, hmm. a month or two That's or cool. something. So I'll teach all the design stuff and stuff like that, and okay. we could share, like, photo and video and stuff like that. Just okay. something simple. Yeah. Um, That's good. Or so- bringing in some of my friends, like Tierra, to come teach a couple classes. Um, <laughs> she said no, no, no. Um, but so speaking on that, and you mentioned something before we like wrap yeah. things up. You did say something that stood out of like, right? You putting the call out for scripts, and then you getting a response, and that's like, oh wait, I gotta read. So that's one thing too. I think I struggle with of like not putting myself out there as much because now I'm like, man, am I going to be able to handle, you know, the responsibility that comes after that? Like I've been wanting to get just like an agent, you know what I mean? Or somebody photo agent. Oh, and I'm like, what's wrong? Can I handle the work coming in? Right. Cause well, even the stuff on my plate now, sometimes I'm like, like I got to head back to LA like in another two weeks and you know, we're kind of doing, getting all this before I leave. So I'm just like, the balancing of sometimes stuff of like, can I, can I like perform and actually Mm -hmm. do, you know, things that I want to do, but Mm -hmm. it's just like the responsibility of that. But I think I have that burden because it's just like me. Mm -hmm. I think if I had the help um, around me and the team around Mm -hmm. me to kind of delegate a lot more stuff, then I think I would be more at ease. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely kind of feel that too, where I'm like hesitant to, go after certain stuff because it, it just it immediately overwhelms me. Yeah. And um, because I'm, I guess I'm already in an overwhelmed state sometimes. I'm just like, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> you know? I, I, you know, you can, I, you can say what you can and can't do. Yeah. Because I'm, I literally, for the first time in like three years, I just gathered all of my content because my lawyer said, I reached out to my lawyer because I need an agent. I need an agent mm-hmm. or a manager and you can't get one without the recommendation. I was like, hold mm-hmm. on, I have a whole entertainment lawyer. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, do you know any man- managers or agents like you can recommend me to? Mm-hmm. He was like, send me your reel and your resume and I'll send it out to my people. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not thinking about the things coming in. I'm thinking about what I'm losing, not having one. Right. Mm-hmm. And so you can say what you're able to do. But I think as you as you move forward, you just move away from certain things for a season. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I would move away from things that may not be as profitable 
in order to be able to come back to them and really pour what I need to pour yeah. into it. Yeah. And so, like, I wasn't really mad about the scripts. Like, I saw them, and, like, some some of them you just delete because there's, a, you know, the log line isn't what you're looking for or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, and it's no disrespect to the writers. It's mm-hmm. just, like, what are we looking for? Right. And granted, everybody was like, what genre? I don't want to be genre-specific because mm-hmm. we just want to find whatever is great. Right. Um, That's true. And so, and then you can also ask people like, hey, anybody want to read some scripts? Mm -hmm. 20 page max scripts. You know, within the first page or two, if you're going to keep reading it. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, it's not as time consuming as we think. It's just taking that time to do it, which I'm going to do this week. And so, yeah, like I don't teach on Thursday, this coming Thursday, I'm going to try to sit down. I'm trying to, you know, filter through some scripts. Wake up early in the morning. Good, good. So, um, let's tell the people what we're gonna what we're gonna be talking about this season. Oh my goodness! So this season we're gonna be talking about NFTs, art, Bitcoin, stocks, uh, GameStop. We're gonna talk about church or cult, mm. uh, wellness, self care, mental health journeys. Uh, we're just so one of the things that we thought about calling this season is triggered, and so uh, a lot of things have been triggering us, and so uh, it's been really interesting. So I think this this season is gonna be it's, it's gonna be a deeper dive yeah, this much season. Deeper, much Tierra's deeper. like, oh my god. If you get people are like, what is this girl? Yeah, it's gonna be deeper. I, I've been drinking chamomile since eight this morning, but uh, <laughs> trying to calm down. Yeah, but I think yeah, it's definitely gonna it'll be, be good. A bit it'll be good. And kind of expounding on you know some things we touched on mm-hmm. in, in the first season and yeah it's just kind of exploring and, you know being us thank you for joining us at a lot of hats podcast don't forget to like subscribe follow hit us up we out here on uh instagram on twitter at person <laughs> personally uh and don't forget to watch us on black gold tv i don't know what's funny but <laughs> we out here we out here we i don't know where here is but we out here, we out here. have a great day guys it's bye peace, peace. <laughs>